On this video, I'm going to tell you a special place to shop for your RV that you might not think about. So when I was coming up with ideas for videos, I got to thinking, I don't know that I've ever talked about this in a video, and I think that it's something, especially if you've got a new camper, you really need to know. And that is where to shop for your new RV that won't break the bank. And that is called shopping your home. Yes, I am saying shop your home for your new RV. Because when you get a new RV, you think, oh, I wanna get new this and I wanna get new that. But you know what? The actuality of it, majority of the people, they only weekend in their RV. So it's not stuff that you're gonna use all the time. And you know what? I bet you've lived in your house long enough. You have some old sheets, old pots and pans and things that you would love to have new ones in your house. And then you can just bring the stuff from your house out to your RV. So things that I've done, I had an old air fryer that I brought out here and then I bought a new one for the house. I'll camp on the weekends and I'll use my air fryer, but I don't use it every day like I would in the house. That same thing, if you have the same size beds inside your house that you have in the camper, all our sheets and our comforters that's on the bed in the camper used to be on the bed in the house. I brought those out here to put in the camper and got new for the house. And that's a big thing is for us, I don't know if everybody's this way, but when we're camping, the dogs are running around, they get things dirty, they get things messed up. Another big thing, like you don't think about, bed sheets, comforters that you can use from your house in your RV if you have the same size bed. Towels, I think a great place to use your old towels from the house is in your camper. I know I said that this was a cheaper way of getting things for your camper, but you're having to buy new stuff for your house. Unless you've just got old stuff in your house and you have extra, which is very possible sometimes. I mean, I know I went through like my kitchen recently and I had extra pots and pans and things that I don't ever use at the house that I could bring out to the camper and use out here. Because I know when you first buy your camper, you want everything bright, shiny, new. You think, and you also you think, I've got to get everything for my camper before we go camping. And that's really not true. I've done a video about this. You can go to thrift stores, yard sales. You can get things really cheap for your camper. But I think the first place to look before you go to the stores and buy things for your camper is go look in your house and see what you can find. I'm sure you may even have old pictures, lamps, things that you can use in your camper. And guess what? I bet you if you've used them in your house, they're a style that you like. When you first start out and buying new stuff, rather than buying everything new, maybe get you a big bin, take it in the house and grab the things that you need for the weekend and take them camping with you. That way you learn real quick what you need and what you don't need. Because when I first got the camper, I bought a, a ton of stuff and I, a lot of it, I don't even use, but I thought that I needed it. Now our coffee pot, this used to be in the house, but then when we got our camper in 2017, we brought this one out here. It was actually an extra one that we didn't use anymore. So we did not go purchase a new one. We had this one that we could bring out here. I feel like everybody would have an extra coffee pot if that's something that you like at your house. I did, when we first bought the camper, I thought I had to have new towels and I had to have new sheets and I had to have new all this stuff. And I so wish someone had told me, just get the stuff out of your house that you have extra of or get the stuff out of your house, bring it into the camper and then buy new stuff for your house. That's something that you're gonna most likely use every day where the camper is only for the weekends. So next time you need something for your camper, go look in your house and see if you can find it there first before you go run to the store and spend all that extra money. Till next time, like and subscribe.